tell us what we can expect. Exactly. Well, you know what? This is something we've been waiting on for a long time, especially at the ski resorts around here. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it looks like we actually could see some decent accumulation out of this storm. So exciting stuff to talk about this morning. Yep, definitely. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on out there. This is a beautiful view of sunrise in downtown Albuquerque. We are looking at clear skies early this morning, but we are going to start to see the cloud cover build up and gusty winds return to our area by this afternoon. That's all ahead of that storm system that's going to be impacting us, especially tomorrow. So temperatures out there, fairly chilly as we're getting started this morning. About 22 in Santa Fe. We've got the teens for Taos and Grants and Gallup. A little bit warmer heading on down to the south, but again this afternoon we're going to see things stay fairly close to what's normal for this time of year, followed by that big temperature drop heading into tomorrow, and even our Monday afternoon highs are going to be quite different out there. So what we're going to see over the next several hours, and especially into tomorrow, is the spilling down of some of that Arctic air. Notice we've got a lot of activity You're staying well to the north of us as of right now, but there's a lot of snow associated with this, a lot of cloud cover. This is what's going to start to slowly make its way on down to the south. And what we're going to see, especially heading into tomorrow, is the chance of some showers popping up for us in the snow varieties. So as far as watches and warnings go, we do have that winter weather advisory in effect for Southern Colorado and the winter storm watch for many of us into New Mexico. These both go all the way through our Sunday, and that's because this system is going to bring that very cold blast of air, but also that chance of some good snow showers, especially for the north. So what we're going to see is tomorrow we start to really pour down that cold air. Now the difference between this system and what we've been seeing the past several weekends is that that front is going to make its way on through and the actual storm system is still going to be with us. So the frigid air falling in followed by that little bit of moisture and of course the lifting that's done by the actual storm system itself is where we're going to start to see the possibility of those snow showers. That's why this one differs a bit from what we have been seeing and this one also has a lot more cold air with it as well. So what we're going to start to see is the development of those showers by tomorrow morning. It's going to start into the north, make its way on down to the south by tomorrow afternoon and evening is when we're going to start to see the most snowfall, especially for northern parts of the state. Obviously into the mountains we're going to expect some as well. So this is going to be the real deal heading into tomorrow and maybe even our Monday morning for some of us. So the other thing that we're going to see with this is of course our temperatures dropping significantly. 50s today followed by the 30s tomorrow for your afternoon highs in the northwest. It's an even bigger drop heading into the southeast. I'll show you that here in just a second. But we do keep the little slight chance of some rain showers in there for tomorrow afternoon for the southwest. The shower possibilities kind of move to Monday morning into the southeast, but check out the temperature difference between today, a high of about 72, tomorrow is only in the 40s. So this is, uh, you know, that should show you exactly how significant this cold air is that's coming down from the north for us. So into the North Mountains, we're going to see some decent accumulation out of this, hopefully anyway. Looks like we're going to see the 30s and even the 20s for our Monday, not reaching even 30 degrees. East Mountains, right here in the Sandias, we could see some accumulation, especially on the peaks. And we're expecting to see some shower activity even here in the metro. Nothing too crazy, but we could see some little flurries at least heading into our Sunday. You know, I've really been enjoying the warm weather Me but too. it's gonna be a nice change. I haven't seen snow in a long time so Me neither. I'm really excited. excited. Definitely. Thank you. Mm -hmm.